Welcome to Animo Channel's Quick Take Review. Here's a detailed review of The Bricklayer starring Aaron Eckhart, Nina Dobrev, Clifton Collins Jr., and directed by Rennie Harlan. The Bricklayer follows an ex-CIA agent who despite now working as a humble bricklayer, is unexpectedly called back into action to neutralize a threat posed against the agency. The Bricklayer presents itself as a quintessential espionage thriller, adhering closely to the tried and tested formula of the genre. However, its adherence to convention ultimately renders it a by-the-numbers affair, with predictability looming ominously over the entire screenplay. From the outset, the bricklayer follows a cliché-ridden character arc, offering little in the way of surprises or originality. The familiar beats of the spy genre are all present and accounted for, from high-speed car chases to tense shootouts and inevitable double crosses. Despite its lack of narrative innovation, the film does manage to deliver some moments of excitement, particularly in its close-quarter hand-to-hand combat sequences. These scenes are well shot and choreographed, injecting a welcome dose of adrenaline into an otherwise formulaic plot. While the acting is commendable, with the cast delivering solid performances, the characters themselves remain thinly written and lacking in depth. As a result, it's difficult for audiences to fully invest in their fates or motivations. On a technical level, the bricklayer boasts impressive locations and competent camera work, capturing the sleek, atmospheric aesthetic synonymous with the espionage genre. However, despite these visual flourishes, the film's overall tone and style feel oddly out of step with contemporary sensibilities, evoking a sense of nostalgia for a bygone era of spy cinema. Despite its shortcomings, The Bricklayer manages to retain a modicum of watchability, thanks in part to its brisk pacing and occasional bursts of action. While the sense of déjà vu may be palpable at times, the film never quite descends into outright tedium, offering a passable diversion for those seeking a straightforward, if unremarkable, spy thriller. In conclusion, The Bricklayer may not break new ground or offer any significant surprises, but it remains a serviceable one-time watch for fans of the espionage genre. While its lack of originality may limit its long-term appeal, it nevertheless provides a dose of familiar entertainment for those craving a dose of cinematic intrigue. For those intrigued by similar plotlines and sensibilities of the movies listed here, The Bricklayer is a compelling choice. Don't forget to subscribe to Anonymo channel for more quick take reviews and recommendations. Peace to all.